Okay, so to business. Um, so what I want to share with you tonight is a project that a few of us here in Santa Barbara have been working on for a few years, and this is a, a community land trust. And it can be looked at as a solution for sustainable development, but that's kind of more the, the business framework. Um, I, I think you'll see that there's, there's a lot more to it. Uh, the, the definition of community land trust, just to put it simply, is three, three elements. Uh, sustainably productive agriculture, uh, sustainable residential development, and uh, natural resources and ecology that are a part of the landscape and a part of uh, the natural system. Uh, my PowerPoint doesn't look like the way it does on this screen as it did here, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> so motivation is threefold. First and foremost for me is to make local agriculture economically feasible. Uh, local farmers, as you may know, struggle to pay their land use fees with the, the money they make from, uh, from selling produce. Uh, secondly, to align development, by development I can I'd also say economic interests and environmental interests. And the, the key to this is the sustainable residential development component of the land trust. And um, 20 seconds feels different now. <laughs> uh, and and we we want to be leaders in demonstrating sustainable human culture and the community land trust, which by the way will ultimately, as we envision it, consist of more than one piece of land, but multiple, will be uh, cornerstones or sort of shining beacons of what sustainable human development and uh, can look like. So, since we're talking about the economic motivation, it's worth I think dwelling on that a little bit. Uh, the spectrum of return on investment, ROI is return on investment, can illustrate this. The impact of the investment, any investment makes can be ranged from negative to positive in terms of the effect that it has on, lo on the local community. Um, from, the, uh, from the positive end, we also have a range of investment return from gross, which is essentially cash. This is really jumbled, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk you through it to, on the other end, satisfaction and goodwill, which is subtle, in, in other words, um, philanthropic. It's, in, it's, it's what's in the middle of that range that's uh, relevant to the land trust, which are the relationships that you, as an investor of your money, time, and effort, gain that satisfy your material needs and wants. That's the return on investment that, that's core to this concept of return on investment from the land trust. So to develop what this should say, by the way, is the community investor. <laughs> um, uh, to develop this concept a little bit further, I've chosen an image of an oil derrick uh, for the contemporary investor and the oak tree uh, for the community investor. And by investor, again, I mean money, time, and effort. And in contemporary investing, what we're used to in our culture, uh, wealth is extracted and resources are depleted. Uh, in, in community investing, wealth is cultivated and resources are renewed. Um, so there's really a, a shift in investment culture that's required for the community land trust to take off. Uh, and what we're essentially, you know, if there's a pitch here uh, to the investment community, it's that the community land trust is a vehicle. It's an investment vehicle by which you can, uh, by participating in it with your time, money, and effort, transform dollars, for example, into a living network of support of which you are a member. So this is, these are a few pictures from my home, just up on Olive Street. And this is uh, arguably a, a, uh, a micro-urban example of a community land trust. And what's particularly exciting about this project right now is that the city has expressed interest with us in uh, creating an a, a experimental low-impact development research site. And the benefits to both parties are, first and foremost, new development opportunities related to the this vision. And uh, the, the third element in, in this collaboration are the, the local uh, educational institutions, UCSB, City College, and so forth. It will be, a lot of the things that we're doing here are just not allowable in current, current codes. And so uh, the, the educational collaboration is, 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 is what will partly enable this. So here's another example uh, that we developed for a more rural agricultural setting. This is uh, Shepherd Farms down in Carpinteria. And this uh, big swath in the middle is what Shepherd Farms looks like from the air. It's a typical agricultural lot, mostly uh, farmland with a couple of um, uh, farm 
buildings. And the concept that we developed for this was basically uh, placing a, a sustainable residential component right in the middle of the farm that houses anywhere from a dozen to two dozen permanent residents or part-time residents that serve both the functions of the farm and embellish the functions of the farm and also serve as a hub for, for community interaction with the larger community. Uh, part of this for me started with a particular piece of land that I just fell so deeply in love with, hiking it up in the Carpenter Rio foothills. Uh, plan for development of exclusive ranch estates, and I just felt, knew that a community land trust like model for this and other pristine, potentially developable lands was really key uh, to making it work long, long term. The name of our land trust is Kapilaurani Land Trust, which is a a uh, Sanskrit word, which some believe is the original word for California, Kapila Aranya, uh, transmuted into California, pointing that there's a deep personal relationship. I'm not going to talk about this because that did not, does not look like the way it looks on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> but needless to say, the idea is that the community land trust is this thing at the center, and there's these various elements about it, like complementary currency, sustainable land use models, uh, low impact residential or sustainable residential development. There's a lot going on here in this model that I'm hoping would give you a sense. And on that note, um, this is an invitation to participate in any number of ways that you might uh, feel inspired to based on what you've heard from me. And uh, some of my team is sitting on the, the center table at the back, and you can also quote them if, 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 um, if I'm not, if you don't see me. So um, this is fun. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. All right.